let me show you how I have created the banner for this plugin, uh, since I think that's a good example of uh, its usage and uh, how it uh, interacts with After Effects. So when you have your footage uh, imported in a comp, you can apply the effect on top of it or on an adjustment layer, as you like. Then the first thing you can do is uh, to create your prompt, uh, the prompt that will guide the diffusion of the image. Um, the way the plugin works is by selecting a text layer, so you can write your prompt in the text layer, um, and you can turn it off or have it there like you want. The style of the text doesn't matter, it's only the content. And inside the plugin, you can select that text layer as the prompt. By default, the plugin is set to shrink the image down to 512. This is for speed reason and to avoid out of memory uh, on the low end cards. But in this case, I can uh, put it back to 1024 and I'm starting to get uh, interesting results. Now I'm playing with a few of the settings and trying to find a, a good image that I like. Um, from strength will uh, take me away from my uh, original image and if it's too low it will be very close to the original image. In that case the guys in the background are not uh, transformed into robots so I put the prompt strength back to somewhere like 0.5 or 0.4 and I kind of liked what it has done at the beginning so I leave it to 0 0.5, 0 0.4 sorry. Um, now with the size limit we see that it will influence how much detail it, it will pick uh, in the background for example. Um, but again for the moment I leave it to uh, 1024. And then I'm just looking for uh, a seed, just to generate a few examples. Now that I'm uh, happy with this seed, um, I'm thinking um, maybe I can do some comp uh, on top of that. So I am pre-comping this result. And one thing I want to test is, um, can I duplicate the, the guy on the left at the table uh, and just quick swap it to the to the right um, so this way we can we can have a body there uh, drinking coffee with the other one like we get sometimes in some seed but in the original image there is no one there so this this is just noise from the background being interpreted as another person but I kind of like that uh, when I saw it in some in some random seeds, um, so I want to keep this. Um, what I'll do is uh, just do a very quick and dirty comp of that same uh, guy. And it doesn't have to be clean. It can be very... That's the cool thing about, about having uh, stable diffusion inside After Effects, you can do some very quick and dirty uh, mock-up jobs with a, with a feather, of course, and then ask uh, Diffuse to render on top of that. Now I'm just thinking uh, if I change the color of that original guy uh, under the plugin, uh, it will generate something different. And it does, uh, just so I get a different character. Then I am interested in turning those background characters into robots as well. So uh, what I'm doing is another comp where I place the two guys in, the, in a crop. And I will work only with this region now. So I kind of do the same process of finding a good seed, uh, generating the characters that I like. I'm happy with that. Um, I go back to the main comp where I have a few options uh, for the front characters uh, and the background. I select one of the two backgrounds that I like the most and uh, comp it uh, with the first image. 
Then I'm bringing this pre-comp of the background guys in. I place it at the right position and I'm just doing a quick mask to put those two, two images together.